Well, moving our focus now to the Parliament's showdown. The showdown over the Manipur issue is expected to continue today as well on the sixth day of the Parliament monsoon session. The opposition plans to step up the attack on the government. Now, all MPs belonging to the opposition front, India will wear black clothes and bands as a mark of protest against the Manipur issue. Now, apart from this, they will also protest in Rajya Sabha over leader of opposition Kharge's mic being switched off. Now, Kharge had accused the government of humiliating him while the government has accused opposition of misbehavior. This comes a day after a no-confidence motion move, was moved by the Congress in Lok Sabha and was also accepted by the Speaker. Now, the motion was moved by the Congress to mount pressure on the central government over the Manipur issue. Meanwhile, flow leaders of opposition front will meet Rajya Sabha leader of opposition Malika Arjun Kharge to discuss the urgent issues that shall be discussed in the parliament today. Gaurav Gogoi joins us. Gaurav, your notice has been admitted to discussion is going to happen uh, sometime soon. But is this the only tool that the opposition really had in terms of, you know, bringing a no confidence motion because that's been repeated in the past also? The India Alliance is well aware of our numbers and our strength in uh, Lok Sabha, but it is a matter of sending a message of solidarity to Manipur. What is at stake is our domestic security, territorial integrity, and, a, and, a, and an effort to heal uh, the wounds that the people of Manipur have felt. What message is the government say, is sending by the Prime Minister by not visiting Manipur? What message is the government already sent by the Prime Minister waiting for 78 days to open his mouth? That too after Chief Justice observations. And what message are they still trying to say? That there are other bills which are of much more importance than the issue of Manipur, that there are other meetings uh, which are much more important for the Prime Minister to attend instead of coming inside Parliament and addressing the nation. In the past, there have been conflicts in across India and whenever there has been a conflict of this scale, of this magnitude, Prime Minister, irrespective of whichever political party they belong to, they have always confronted the issue head on, they have taken personal initiative, they have taken personal leadership and it is quite disappointing for the Prime Minister to almost kind of show his back to the people of Manipur. And that is what the message India Alliance wants to send, that the Prime Minister may have forgotten, but India Alliance for sure stands with the people of Manipur in their time of grief. Well, the government is saying that the Prime Minister is willing to reply, but you have countered that as well. But uh, is the opposition also willing to you know, take a discussion on the uh, safety and security of women in Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, uh, among the other states? It's quite unfortunate that after 78 days, when the Prime Minister spoke about Manipur, he spoke about atrocities against women. That is of course unfortunate, but there have been other human rights violations in Manipur. Ordinary people have felt defenseless, so much so that they have stormed police stations and taken arms. 6,000 weapons have been looted from police stations by people, ordinary people, you and me. You tell me which part of India has seen such a breakdown of law and order, where a union minister's house of this government, Ranjan Singh, his house has been burned. BJP MLAs have been attacked and yet the Prime Minister refuses to meet his own MLAs. So this is an extraordinary situation and therefore it deserves extraordinary attention and priority because the states which are seeing this conflict are on our border. It is a matter of territorial integrity and domestic security and it is behooves the Prime Minister to come to the Parliament and speak to the people of India and let a message of peace and solidarity go to the people of India, especially to the people of Manipur. सभी विषय के ऊपर चर्चा करने को तैयार है आपके यूपीए सरकार में 10 साल में आप क्या किया है आपके समय में लैंड ऑर्डर कैसा था आपके समय में टेररिज्म कैसा था आपके समय में कम्युनलिज्म कैसा था आपके समय में कम्युनल क्लैशेस कैसा थे कितने बार कर्फ्यू थे कितने लोग शहीद हो गए थे कितने आए आरडीएक्स फेल देश में मिला था कितने ट्रेन में ब्लाम बास्टिंग हुआ था हम चर्चा करने के लिए तैयार थे मगर कोई विपक्ष पार्टी चर्चा के लिए तैयार नहीं है इसीलिए फाइनली दे केम फॉरवर्ड जो नो कॉन्फ्रेंस मोशन लगाने के लिए आए हैं हम कोई डरने वाले नहीं है हम हर विषय पर जवाब देने के लिए तैयार है हम कोई भागने वाला पार्टी नहीं है 
जब तक स्पीकर ने इस विषय को जो इतनी अर्जेंसी है वो नहीं दिखाया तो मेरे ख्याल में कई पार्टीज कहते हैं कि हमारा जो डिमांड था कि प्रधानमंत्री कभी आए लोकसभा में जिसका अंग वो है जब तक वो नहीं करेगा मेरे ख्याल में ये ये सब चलने वाले हैं मेरे ख्याल में बेस्ट है कि स्पीकर जल्दी तय करें कि ये नो कॉन्फ्रेंस मोशन के ऊपर चर्चा हो जाए वैसे भी आपको पता है कि परंपरा परंपरा के अनुसार प्रधानमंत्री को आप वापस आके जवाब देना पड़ेगा तो वैसे भी उस वक्त इस विषय पे उनका बोलने का मौका मिलेगा लेकिन इसको पोस्टपोन करके ये जो हंगामा चल रहा है हाउस के अंदर उसमें सारे बिल्स को पास करना बिना चर्चा बिना बहस ये तो देश के लिए अच्छा नहीं है हमारे पार्लियामेंट्री डेमोक्रेसी के लिए बहुत खराब है